Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a brand new product that lets you hook up a game controller to an Apple II computer. So, let's get started. The A2IO is a small Bluetooth receiver developed by Aaron Reed. It plugs into the nine pin joystick socket on the Apple IIe, 2C, or 2GS. You can also use it on the Apple II or II Plus if you use a 16 to nine pin adapter. The Bluetooth receiver that plugs into your Apple II connects to a app on your iOS or Android device called A2IO. The app works as a bridge between your Bluetooth game controller and the dongle connected to your Apple II. The app also has a number of features that can act as a game controller by itself. The app is designed to work with pretty much any Bluetooth game controller that you can hook up to iOS or Android, including generic game controllers, PlayStation game controllers, or Xbox game controllers. Interestingly, the app also hooks up to the 8-Bit Doe Collectors game controller that came out a few years ago and had so many problems. And the new game controller that Aaron has developed actually works much better than the standard firmware that came with this controller. Let's go ahead and see how it all works. Setup is really straightforward. I just need to plug the Bluetooth dongle into the joystick port on the back of the Apple IIe, just like that. If I have an Apple II Plus or an Apple II, I can use an adapter like this, which goes from the 16-pin socket on the Apple II to a 9-pin connector, which the dongle can just plug into. The next step is to pair my controller with my iOS or Android device. This will depend on your actual operating system. In my case, all I need to do is just go under Bluetooth and then choose Xbox Wireless Controller and connect it. You can also see that I've connected the 8-bit Doe NES30 in the past, although it's not connected right now. Now that we've paired the game controller with our iOS or Android device, we can go ahead and pair the app on the phone with the dongle on the Apple II. Let's go ahead and we'll turn on the computer now. And I've got a disc in there that is the Mech Joystick Test Program, which we can use. So now that the computer's on, I can just load up the A2IO app on my phone and then click connect. And this will actually connect to the dongle plugged into the back of the Apple II here. Once it's connected, now we can go ahead and play with the different options here on the app. Let's start up the joystick program first. We can actually use the app itself as a controller. So for example, if I go into paddle mode here, you can see that I can swing it back and forth. And as I do that, you can see that it actually moves the crosshair on the screen like that. So this would be good for games like Breakout, so you don't even need to have a actual controller. If we go back to the main menu, we can go to tablet mode. And again, I can just control the joystick on the Apple II with this iPhone app. And you can imagine for drawing programs or things like that, this would actually be really useful. It also has buttons for A and B, which is push buttons one and two. Back to the main menu, there is a motion mode here. And so in this mode, when I tilt the phone, it actually responds with the joystick like that. And then finally, we can go to gamepad mode and you can see here is where it's actually connected to the controller. So in this case, I no longer need the phone other than just as a bridge between the two. And I can actually control the joystick now using the thumb wheel here. And I can push the buttons A or B. I've got the app paired now with my 8-bit Doe game controller. And you can see that it actually works fairly well. So I can use either the D-pad or the thumb wheel and I can get it to move all the way into the corners, in all four corners. Now one quirk is when you actually move it to one side, it tends to jump back to the center. I have a feeling that's due to the firmware on the actual 8-bit Doe controller here, and it's not the fault of the A2IO app. But overall, this is actually a lot better than the control that you had with the original dongle that came with this 8-bit Doe controller. So still not great, 
but at least it's a little bit more functional than it was. Let's go back now to the Xbox controller and we'll fire up some games and try those out. Let's go ahead and try some games from Total Replay here. First we'll start with Choplifter. Alright, so we're going to take off and we can fly around. I can hit buttons to turn and shoot. You can see that my helicopter is a little off in terms of the actual trim, but we can just go onto the app here and we can actually just change that using the little controls to fix that. So it's just like the joystick trim on a regular uh, Apple II joystick. And overall, it has a really nice feel. This particular joystick, I'll put a link in the show notes to it, actually works really well. It's completely responsive, so there's no lag over the Bluetooth at all. So this just works fantastic. Let's try another game now. Let's go ahead and try Marble Madness on the Apple II GS. I didn't have any problems hooking up the a2 iOS controller on the 2GS, it was just the same as the Apple IIe. The controller is working great with this. Uh, it seems pretty responsive, just as good as a regular Apple II joystick. And just for fun, let's actually try this with the app itself. So I'm going to switch to motion mode, and so now I'm controlling it just by tilting the phone and just using the accelerometer in the phone. And this definitely takes some getting used to, uh, but it's a really interesting way to play, and it's actually kind of cool. So you can just see easily for games like this, it actually might be better to play with the phone like this rather than using the game controller. The A2IO is a fantastic new device for the Apple II line of computers. It works with any Apple II, starting from the original Apple II all the way up to the 2GS and including the 2C. All you need to have for one of the older Apple IIs is just a 16-pin to 9-pin adapter. The iOS or Android app is also really intuitive. It was really easy to hook up both the Bluetooth controller as well as the dongle. And it also has some really cool features like being able to use the accelerometer to actually control the joystick on your Apple II. I believe that Aaron Reed is going to start selling this device soon. I'll have a link in the show notes for where you can get more information. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button below. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me further. Once again, thanks for watching.